In the vast and seemingly familiar expanse of space, recent discoveries have revealed something unusual. It's neither a star nor a galaxy, but something much larger. A structure so huge that it shouldn't exist according to our current understanding of the universe. We've long believed that the universe is homogeneous, its matter evenly distributed across the vastness of space. But what if there are anomalies like Space J that defy this principle? Here, in this vast ocean of space, we've discovered not just a cluster of distant galaxies, but a giant ring, a collection of cosmic formations stretching over 3.3 billion light years. How could such a massive structure exist? What forces set it in motion? And what does its presence mean for our understanding of the cosmos? Today, we dive into a story of cosmic discovery. This journey begins with a chance discovery by a team of astronomers and leads to a question that shakes the foundation of modern cosmology. Welcome to the enigma of the huge ring of galaxies. Giant Ark unexpectedly stands out among other celestial structures in the universe. This colossal structure, spanning 3.3 billion light years, was first spotted by the keen eyes of PhD student Alexia Lopez and her team in June of 2021. Their discovery was not just an astronomical stroke of luck, but a groundbreaking moment in space exploration. The giant arc is made up of galaxies, galaxy clusters, and gas and dust. Imagine a structure so huge that it could encompass thousands of our galaxies, a cluster of cosmic material that stretches across the sky in an elegant curve. According to the generally accepted cosmological principle, the universe on large scales is homogeneous and isotropic, meaning that wherever you look, the distribution of matter should be roughly the same. However, giant arc exceeds the threshold of 1.2 billion light years, which calls this principle into question. Its size and formation raise profound questions. How did such a massive structure arise? Does its presence mean that our universe is more diverse and complex than our current models suggest? To unlock the secrets of the cosmos, astronomers have developed ingenious methods to detect and study structures that are beyond the reach of traditional telescopes. Central to this quest is the mysterious light of quasars, the brightest and most distant objects in the known universe. Quasars, with their immense brightness, serve as cosmic beacons. Their light, traveling billions of light years, carries stories about the cosmos as it passes through the various structures in the cosmos. This light interacts with them, leaving an indelible imprint that astronomers can decipher. One of the key tools in this space detective work is the study of absorption lines, specifically magnesium-2 absorption lines. When the light from a quasar passes through a region of space containing magnesium-2, the matter absorbs certain wavelengths of light. This absorption leaves distinct signatures in the light spectrum that astronomers can analyze. They can reveal the presence of otherwise invisible structures, such as the giant arc. These innovative techniques have revolutionized our ability to detect and understand the vast, hidden structures of the universe. By analyzing the light from quasars, astronomers can map the distribution of galaxies and intergalactic matter, revealing the tangled web that binds the cosmos together. This method of cosmic observation is akin to using a flashlight to reveal the contours of a dark room. The light of quasars illuminates the grand design of the cosmos, revealing the colossal structures that form the fabric of our universe. Venturing deeper into space, our journey leads us to another startling discovery. The Big Ring, spanning an astounding 1.3 billion light years. This enormous structure is a colossal cluster of galaxies and ranks next only to giant arc in its defiance of the cosmological principle. Discovered following the giant arc in early 2024, the Big Ring represents another monumental find in astronomy. The structure forms a celestial loop of galaxies, gas, 
and dark matter intertwined in outer space, with a circumference of about 4 billion light years. The immensity of the Big Ring is not just a matter of size. If we could go outside and see it directly, it would take about 15 full moons to cover its diameter. How did such a structure form? What processes could have led to the creation of a ring of galaxies of this scale? These questions pique the curiosity of scientists, forcing us to expand the scope of our understanding of cosmic evolution and structure formation. So, let's take a closer look at the cosmological principle, the fundamental theory in astrophysics that assumes the existence of a universe in which matter is uniformly distributed and all regions look roughly the same. However, as we've mentioned, the existence of such a colossal structure spanning billions of light years disproves this notion, indicating that the universe is far more complex and diverse than we ever imagined. In such a case, it's quite appropriate to ask, how did such huge structures form, and what does their presence tell us about the evolution of the universe? Comparing these structures to others, such as Sloan's Great Wall, shows that the universe is rich in variety and scale. Compared to Sloan's Great Wall, the Giant Arc and the Great Ring are more unique formations. The Wall is a branded chain of galaxies, while the Arc and the Ring have a more distinct shape, suggesting that their creation was influenced by very different cosmic processes. As we delve into the mysteries of their origin, we explore various theories and models. Among the hypothesized mechanisms of their formation is the influence of dark matter, an invisible but pervasive component of the cosmos. Its gravitational attraction could organize the clustering of galaxies into these huge arrangements. The cosmic web theory proposes a universe in which galaxies are interconnected by threads of denser matter. These megastructures may represent intersections or particularly dense regions of this cosmic web. Another interesting theory is the theory of baryon acoustic oscillations, commonly known as BAO. These cosmic echoes are not just remnants of the early universe, but potential clues to unraveling the mysteries of structures such as the giant arc and the great ring. BAOs are thought to have originated in the early universe during a period of intense heat and density. Here, baryons, particles such as protons and neutrons, were in constant interaction with photons, particles of light. This interaction created pressure waves, similar to sound waves, rolling through the hot plasma of the early universe. Imagine a stone thrown into a quiet pond. The impact creates ripples that spread out in concentric circles. In the same way, BAOs spread through the early universe, creating ripples in the very fabric of space. These ripples, or acoustic waves, left their mark on the distribution of matter in the universe. As the universe expanded and cooled, these acoustic waves froze in place, imprinting a unique pattern into the cosmic microwave background the afterglow of the Big Bang. This pattern extends to the distribution of galaxies and cosmic structures, influencing their formation and location. The BAO imprint is not just a relic of the past, but a tool for astronomers. By studying these patterns, scientists can trace the expansion of the universe and the formation of structures like the giant arc and the great ring. BAO helps us understand the scale of these structures and provides clues about the nature of dark matter and dark energy. However, there are alternative theories. These are Roger Penrose's conformal cyclic cosmology and the cosmic string hypothesis, each of which offers a unique angle on the fabric of the cosmos. Roger Penrose, a famous physicist, proposes a fundamentally different vision of the universe. He suggests that what we perceive as the Big Bang is not the beginning but just one phase in a series of endless cycles. Each cycle, or aeon, begins with a Big Bang and ends in an infinitely expanded, smooth state. This model implies that the universe can reboot itself, with each cycle leaving imprints on the next. Could structures like the giant arc and the great ring be scars from a previous universe, remnants of a cosmic cycle that preceded our own? 
This theory challenges our understanding of time, space, and the very nature of reality. The cosmic string hypothesis delves into the realm of quantum field theory. It suggests that the universe in its infancy was filled with one-dimensional defects in the fabric of space-time known as cosmic strings. These strings, thinner than an atom but incredibly dense, could stretch across the universe, their gravitational pull molding the distribution of matter around them. Could the giant arc and the great ring have formed along such ancient cosmic strings, their vast sizes and shapes a direct consequence of these primordial defects? Each of these theories, from the role of dark matter and the cosmic web to the speculative ideas of Penrose and cosmic strings, offers a window into the mysteries of the cosmos. The discovery of structures like the giant arc and the great ring challenges our understanding and prompts us to think beyond the known boundaries of science. They remind us that the universe is a place of wonder, filled with mysteries waiting to be unraveled. As we continue to explore the cosmos, who knows what other secrets we might uncover? The journey of discovery is far from over, and each new finding brings us closer to understanding the true nature of our universe.